Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to add a login and log out and a registration link to your WordPress menu navigation. Uh, this is the White Hat Mastermind Show and this is episode number seven. Thank you for watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the White Hat Mastermind Show, where we give you step by step training on today's best WordPress plugins and marketing tools to grow your business. business, business. And now, here's your host. Seth Riley. Hey guys, welcome back for another great episode. Today I'm going to show you how to add a login and logout and registration link to your WordPress navigation. Now, you know, the funny thing about WordPress is it's more it started off more as a blogging platform and it never really gave people the option to add a login and registration link uh, to your, your menu. And it's something that really kind of bothered me over the years. And I was looking for a, a good plugin to allow me to add that, that feature to my menu. The reason why I want that there is so people that are logged into my site or that have registered and they're currently logged in will see a log out link at the top. And that'll let people know that they are currently logged into the site. And you know, by default, WordPress really doesn't give you any indication that a visitor is actually logged in or logged out to your site. So it's something that I think is really important and you don't want to confuse your members or your visitors that come to your site and you want to make sure that your site is as user friendly as possible. So that's why I found uh, the Ball Login Logout Registration Plugin. Now this plugin is really cool and just in a second I'm going to show you how to install it and set it up. It's literally about three clicks and you're done. It's a free plugin, so that makes it even that much better. What I'm going to do right now is just go over to Google and just go ahead and type in BAW login logout. And as you can see, it says WordPress uh, bow or bow, however you want to pronounce that, login logout menu. Go ahead and click on that. And then it's going to bring you to the WordPress page. And then you can just go ahead and download it right here and save it to your computer. And like I said before, guys, this is a super simple and fast way to add a login and log out and or a registration link to your page. It's actually optional. You don't have to have uh, the login and log out and the registration. You could actually have the individual login or the individual log out or even just the registration link. Um, in your menu bar. So let's say someone registers on your site through the, the menu bar link. Well, it's actually going to hide it once they're logged into the site. And let's say they log in using the login link in your menu bar. Once they do that, it's going to show the logout link. So it's going to let visitors on your site know that they are currently logged in, that it's okay to comment on your stuff without having to register or anything like that. So it's super awesome. And I suggest anybody that has a WordPress blog uh, should set that up if you know their membership plugin allows it or, or whatever uh, you know configurations you have set up as long as it goes well with your current system then I suggest that you use it for sure so now that we've downloaded the plugin we're just gonna go back over to the WordPress dashboard and we're gonna go ahead and install the plugin just click on plugins over here and then select add new plugin and then upload See what I like to do, I don't even like to really search for the plugins um, within my finder and my computer. What happens is my browser actually drops uh, the zip file down below in the bottom of the browser and I can just simply drag it and drop it right here. And WordPress does have a drag and drop editor and also a media drag and drop option as well. So you know if you're if your zip file that you're uploading does not require to be on zip to actually find the plugin zip file then you should just drag it and drop it it's it's convenient it's a lot faster and it uh, you know saves you time so go ahead and install the plugin now then activate it okay and uh, this plugin is really simple it has it does not have a configuration panel or anything like that so all you have to do is scroll down to uh, before we do that I'm actually gonna go back over to the demo site and as you can see uh, we have the home page and then a service page that we set up uh, in a previous version right here so basically this is just a two-page website right now it, it's nothing fancy uh, it's basically just for demo purposes but like I said as you can see we just have the home menu and the service menu right here so I'm gonna go back over into the admin panel 
and scroll down to appearance then menus and then once you do that you just want to scroll down to the bottom and then you'll see this bottom column right here it says login logout links uh, version 1.3.2 so just go ahead and click click on that it'll drop down like an accordion and then you can choose to either add the login link itself or the logout link personally what I like to do is add the login and logout link and then also the registration link so I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my menu and then as you can see I have all my letters capitalized in my menu that's just how I prefer to do it you can uh, you know choose to have lowercase or whatever however you choose to do it and then I'm just gonna uh, capitalize all this close that one and then capitalize register Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and save the menu and click back over here and refresh the page. So as you can see, it's added the logout link um, to my menu bar. And that's because the reason why you don't see the login uh, register link is because since we're logged in, there's no need to register or, or log in. So let me show you what happens when we log out. okay and as you can see we've logged out of WordPress and now you can see that the login link is uh, displaying and also the registration link um, by default it's gonna the, when you log in it's gonna take you to the the default login page right here but there is another plugin that I use that helps you to uh, redirect your visitors or your your members to any page on your website that you would like them to go to um, you know when they log in and it and this plugin will work with uh, that feature as well so this is just a short and sweet tutorial guys to show you how to add login and registration links to your WordPress site I hope you enjoyed this tutorial you know I just I just want to um, also just say that it, you know it's very important that your site is user friendly and that people understand how to navigate around your site and for some reason WordPress doesn't like login and logouts in the menu I have no idea why it's been driving me crazy for a long time I guess maybe because originally it was set up to be like a blogging format or whatever uh, but since WordPress has actually turned into a content management system it's kind of vital to have a login and registration link in your WordPress menu. Now, you know, if you're a developer or something, you can do that really easily yourself. But if you're you're an average Joe or if you just know how to work plugins and themes on your WordPress site, then you definitely want to go with this uh, the Bow login, logout, and registration link plugin because uh, you know it just it makes your site a lot more user friendly. People are gonna understand how to log in and log out and uh, comment on your posts and things like that. And also, it, it really doesn't add any extra load to your, your site. I mean, there's a lot of bul bulky plugins out there. I mean, this plugin, guys, is nothing. There's no, once we go back over here to the dashboard, there's no admin panel um, configuration settings for it. It basically just adds this little um, column right here to drop in those links. So it's not going to add any extra load to your WordPress site. Uh, you know, you always want to keep your site optimized and you want to make sure the plugins that you're adding to your site. Uh, do not bog down your site because in all reality guys when you have a visitor come to your site you have between about three and five seconds to grab their attention so if your site's just overloaded with a bunch of plugins and a theme that has poor coding uh, you know and it loads more than about three seconds then you're gonna lose you know 50 percent of your visitors because it's a proven fact that people will leave your site within about five seconds if you don't um, grab their attention so it's very important to grab their attention and and of course you always want to have a theme with a lot of options a theme that's coded really well and I do have a theme that I recommend and I'll actually leave it in the show notes for you if you want to check it out uh, this is the theme that I use on my site at whitehatmastermind.com uh, it has it's optimized for speed it's optimized for SEO it has a ton of different features it's super flexible 
and uh, it would go really well with this plugin as well. So uh, thank you for watching this tutorial and have a good day. Thanks for tuning in to the White Hat Mastermind Show. You can check us out at www.whitehatmastermind.com.